So today is day of doing of making photography a habit. So today we're gonna to be doing some bond exposures um because I live right next to the highway. And so with this we're actually gonna be using a tripod which is gonna be it's coming in there. But uh yeah, and then afterwards we might go grill and actually capture the early sunrise sun sunrise of the waters and stuff like that. And also capture some long exposures with this as well. Even though I've taken so shall I speak with those waters but it's not exactly the exact same thing. Well, kind of, because long exposures had take a lot more longer, whereas slow shutter speed, it takes a minute. It takes like a couple of seconds. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that today because um, with long exposures are quite fun and they're easy to use. So I really suggest for you guys to actually, if you are starting out, is to actually, you know, somewhat get used to having slow shutter speed and actually getting used to using long exposures because it's a quite a fun, easy thing to you know grasp and go like okay that's what so that's what slow shutter speed actually does and then once you actually you know learn about shutter speed then you understand how it actually works inside the the camera of course not not this iphone of course but uh yeah that's what we're doing today and uh yeah let's go and uh yeah oh would you look at i don't know why i'm pointing at that i think i'm pointing at the moon a bloody full moon uh, this morning, which uh, is good. So we're actually quite early because the sunrise is apparently it must be happening in like half an hour, but that's okay. We can still see some one of the the color today. But yeah, no, I don't think I've actually woken up this early for a uh, a video or anything since I used to go to the gym and like, and then I used to go. Well, I used to go to the gym at like four o'clock or some shit um which is so bizarre I'd eat, I would eat fucking chicken breast cucumber and carrots at 3.30 which is just not a good uh I mean quite a healthy amount of you know food and shit but like um bloody hell but yeah with long exposures and stuff like that um oh god it's just really cold long exposures are quite fun to use oh are quite fun to use especially with as a beginner because you like to see those really like the pawn type water just freeze whereas of cars it's like kind of the exact same thing with the panning shots i did the other day except the cars will disappear and it will create like this long ass line because of the track because of the you know the lights and stuff like that they will create like this trail of red or white or whatever the color the lights are lights are It'll create that trail and it'll be really cool. I would actually go to, I actually like to go towards this like, like roundabout and like get like this whole entire circle of like all this tr busy traffic and stuff. It'd be like really sick. And like the one thing that really captured my eye was this photo of this person who, I think he did like a two hour or one hour just long exposure where he got like one person to stand still for like an hour which was a bit nuts and then he literally um and no, no everyone just disappeared and then one that one person just stayed still and was actually a bit on focus and it seemed like a hey, apocalypse happened which was quite cool which was really cool i was like fucking what how did they do that because they let the shutter be open for so long, which is kind of nuts. Yeah, because sometimes they can, sometimes things can happen to the shutter. Crikey, I've not seen this uh, straight uh, empty for ages. But we also might see some deers, depending on if I get encountered by them. Like the first episode, like the first day, I mean if you actually could see those deers or not. I did see deers. All right. Oh, okay. It's like nine degrees. It's like nine degrees today, or this morning. And bloody hell, my nose is going off, so I do apologize if you keep hearing me 
sniffling because it's just really fucking cold. So, yeah, but so shutter speed is quite a good um, thing to learn as me at the start, I was quite confused with every other just camera setting or like the triangle exposure as they call the shutter speed, ISO and aperture. Um, we'll talk about aperture in like the next thing or so. Um, yeah, we'll, talk, we'll, yeah, we'll probably do aperture or something like that well, within the next couple of days, depending on what I would actually want to do. Um, oh shit, I know you fell. But, uh, yeah. As you can hear, there's copies. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're qu it's quite cool. It's quite, e quite easy to use. Um, I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about just then, because I was just so focused on the copies. Um, anyways, but yeah. So, it shows me it's quite easy to fun, e quite easy to use as you get uh, a lot to learn about how shutter speed works. And then with like fast shutter speed, it tends to be used in sports photography, concert photography, which I both, which I did both at the time. Um, and then with like aperture, you tend to use that for, um, you know, your distance between you and the subject. So for example, like right now, you've got the distance between me and you've got the distance between, if you guys can actually see, there's like a little trailer. There's like a certain distance that the aperture can actually have. Um, and so if you, if you have like a 3.5 aperture, you can only capture like a certain amount of distance, whereas with a beak, or a larger aperture, it tends to have more focus around everything else. And then, um, that's like the pretty, that's, like, that's actually a really good uh, example that I'll, give me, that, I'll use, that I'll use for aperture. It's like the distance between you and the subject. And the ISO, I basically say it's just the camera's lighting or a backup lighting if you don't have any light. Um, but it does create noise, which now you can actually denoise in Lightroom now, so which is a good thing. And so, uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can go up here because I think there's a Jesus. It looks bloody hell. There's no light up there. Okay, we're just gonna have to go towards elsewhere because that is too dark and I've given me the use my light at the moment so yeah um anyways I'm probably just gonna um you know fast track this video towards the location and uh yeah I'll see you guys in a bit so we have made it and now we're going to set up the uh tripod and camera and stuff so yeah sorry if it's way too dark um yeah, they, they all stop at like 60 over there somewhere. So, yeah, they're still going pretty quick. Anyway, so let's just get setting up. We've well, got the camera set up, but it's a bit weird, this tripod. I'll say that. It's kind of... It does the opposite of what I actually want it to be, want it to do. So, yeah, we're just going to see how it is. So we're gonna go for like a four minutes. It's gonna give it for a little bit more light. There we go. All right. So this is, so our settings are four minutes, F8 and ISO 100. We want our ISO to be as low as possible because it's obviously, you know, we don't really need it right now. We got the uh, existing sun at the moment. So yeah, let's just, uh, let's get adjust the horizon. And there we go, right now. So there we go. Our tripod isn't that high. As you can see, we're actually gonna go for like a little bit of a capture shot too. Let's go ahead and bang. I was able to see a capture Come on, cuz. Oh, this is gonna be a boring ass long shot. Long shot, I mean, uh, long exposure. Oh, it's doing its thing. 
I think I set it up to towards uh, numbers and stuff, so that's okay. The reason why we want, to, we want a tripod is because we want it to stay as still as possible. That's why we have it there. Otherwise, we did hand hammer like I did last time. Um, it didn't, it obviously shook a little bit, so there's that too. Just gonna adjust the camera now. We had to actually carry up, we actually had to carry a bag. It did have its own bag, the tripod, but um, yeah, it did not. Right, let's have a look at those shots now. Oi, oi, let's go. So that's like a very basic, those are the car lights and stuff there. That's what I'm talking about there. So now we're going to go to a different direction. We're going to, oh God. Don't get rid of that rock, because I hate that. So we're right now we're going to capture something like this. We're just gonna move it because it was it, because there was rocks everywhere, so horizon's not the best, but you know what? We like it like that. We like to be we like it to be more confusing. I also want to capture a bit of the, the sunrise too. So yeah. Yeah. There's not much happening. It was a lot happening before, but no. We decided to uh, do this instead. Okay, that's a lot more better. That's heaps more better. We have a bit of movement now, so that's good. So we have like that one, that one, that one. Go ahead. Let's try to actually capture. I don't. Really, I don't really want to go too close towards the road. So we are gonna have. We are gonna move it. Let's just try that again, but I'm gonna go a bit more darker because it's uh, becoming a bit more lighter now. So we're just gonna try and get like that more early morning sort of feel. It does take a little bit of while. <laughs> so I'm doing number of shots. That's why it's like doing like five seconds. I think this might this this might be a better one now. I reckon. Mayor. Yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more better. All right. Let's go towards another uh, location um, because we've already captured basically what we can really do in terms of over here. So yeah, we're go we're going to go towards another location and then yeah. All right, with the with the next location, it's literally like the other side of Heathcote at the moment um it's quite early morning i'm just gonna there's, al there's also cars parking like parking along here along towards my right so we're just gonna you know we're just gonna try you know not disturb them obviously but uh yeah let's uh, just keep on going it's a bit bright now so we just have to go for a uh, a shorter time frame of exposure at this point it's cafe literally across from me so that's okay but all right we'll go towards crown next as well or Crowler or whatever, because I can tell the sun is literally at the direction of it, or just that way. So yeah, see how this goes. 
not too bad. It's only because it's a bit bright today. It's only because it's only a little bit brighter. So let's just go from F36. Uh, go for two. I don't even know if we can go towards F36. What the fuck? Okay, well, with the Canal 7, go, go towards F36. I'm also display myself in the public. Just so that I'm not, it doesn't look like I'm hiding myself because I don't want to really go and do that. So, yeah. I don't like doing that because that's just kind of creepy if I'm just hiding. It looks like I'm hiding behind a tree, but I'm not. I'm literally right in the middle of where everyone can see me. All right. A bit better. A bit better now. Let's go ahead and try to go a bit more down. Like so. Is it? Oh, okay, it is. I just can't hear anything at this point. So I can't even hear the fucking camera beeping. <laughs> Jesus. Truck's just pulling in, so that's all right. There's not much happening there. I'm not taking a photo of you. Okay, a bit more better. Not too much. Let's see if I just go for like a high enough um, thing. Okay, that one's a bit cooler. You got the train. Oh no, you guys. There we go. Excuse me. You got the train behind there. You got the cars behind there. So that's what a two-minute one can do. Obviously, we're already seeing what a five-minute one can do. But imagine how long the fucking hour one and two hours one might be. Because I don't even know how long. 30, 30, 30 ones. So we might do that at night time, possibly. So yeah. All right. Let's go towards the line because obviously we're taking the exact same photo, but not really. Anyways, let's go to let's go towards Cronulla. Currently at Cronulla. Um just gonna even though it's it is very bright, we're still gonna try obviously it is quite overexposed as you can see. Um so at the moment we're just going to try and just take those of the slow with the just slow shutter at least. Um like last time. But with this as well, um, obviously bring an anti filter on if you if you have one. They're very cheap and quite reliable, but just make sure to get ones that are pretty decent. Other than that, um, yeah, that's probably the one mistake I've actually made. I'm just gonna make sure this doesn't fall. All right, we captured that. I'm just gonna make sure to get like a slow. So we're F36 and one of eight. Probably gonna get a bit, a bit more brighter. Um, but yeah, always, I'm probably gonna do more of this in the afternoon if I'm gonna do anything like this, just, just so it actually, so this long, long exposure can actually work instead of me, you know, doing this higher aperture so much. So yeah, even though well, I like I like doing this anyway. It's, it's quite cool to see the waves form. Let's just try and get this guy into a wave. So I did, I did get him a few moments ago, but it's, uh, it was off camera. Ah, right. let's try and get it over here. Let's just try and get some slow shutter speed over here. I try to get some of just like the area over here, but it's not really the waves are pretty pretty flat at the moment. All right. Can't try. I'm getting way too close to the cap getting, 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 getting way too close. Just 
the tripod does help a little bit. Even though it is on my foot. The reason why I want to get this is because it's got like, it's got this haze at the moment. That's what I'm trying to get at this current point. Okay, this might be a shorter end. Um, but yeah, no, as far as I know, this is actually a good, quite a decent, we might as well, well capture this. Let's get a decent wave behind this on the bottom. There we go. All right, yeah. That'll probably be the end of the video as uh, it is a bit of a bad end. I'll say that. <laughs> but um, yeah, like and subscribe. This is day 11. Join in for day 12, where we're gonna do a bit more um I've got a few ideas in mind which i'm not going to tell you until the that video and uh yeah like and subscribe and uh yeah see you guys later for day 12.